Hey everyone, welcome to our WWE Yoga Edition. It'll be me playing Fortnite's Battle Royale along with my virtual partner, Diamond Dallas Page. And he'll also tell us a little bit about his amazing story from the heights and the depths of a pro wrestler, a terrible back injury, then with an improbable career pivot into the less testosterone infused world of yoga. Hi, I am known by Crazy Grandpa Andy among the gaming community, but just call me Andy. So, how are you doing anyway? I can only hope that you and your loved ones are doing okay under the circumstances. You know, quarantine feels so strange. Just wonder how we're going to all look back at this, say, in five years, but we will get over it. So, if you uh, didn't happen to watch the last game, it all ended when I became marooned outside the eye of a huge storm, and then I was hit by thunder and lightning. Let's get started on today's game, and I will fill you in about the rest during the show. Marmalade. Hey everyone, here are we are in our staging area. We're going to get ready now. Nothing we can do right now is going to make a difference. Oh wow, we jumped already into the uh, big blue bus. I'm surprised it got started this early. It caught me off, uh, off guard. All right, we are here in the big blue bus, uh, in the uh, battle bus, and we're getting ready to find a place to jump. I'm just going to go ahead and get out right now while the getting is good, and I'm going to head over to that, uh, looks like a business park over there, so I'm going to head over there. All right, so are there, there are three things that we need to do. One is we need to be the last person standing. Uh, there are a hundred other people out here right now, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, before I forget, as you probably know, my virtual uh, partner today is Diamond Dallas Page, and he's quite a dude. You'll hear a little bit more about him. You'll hear from him. Anyway, uh, okay, so uh, you want to be the last person standing. That's number one. Number two, you want to stay uh, in the eye of the storm, because if you don't, a big bad storm is going to get you. Let me uh, put up a little bit more speed to get down there. And then three, you want to... Uh, gather up all the loot, all the building materials you can possibly have because you're going to need that uh, during your time down here. All right, so it looks like we're going to get into this little uh, farmhouse, uh, it would appear to me, which is good. I sort of like uh, starting a little more slowly. Some people who are really, really hot in this game, they get out there and they're just going at it right away. I'm one of the folks who, uh, who tries to last things out. You can actually win this and uh, be victorious with only firing, well, you don't even have to fire a shot in a way, but somehow you have to make it through the other hundred people that are down here right now that you're playing against, all right? And then the other, um, you know, a lot of times lately I've been landing in the towns, there's already fire going on and shots being fired and here I am, I don't even have a weapon to defend myself. So let's move in here a little bit. And uh, let's get inside this sh this house, nice house, right? A nice country home. And uh, let's let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's get open. Let's open this door. And uh, see. okay, all right. Now this is good. I mean, this is good. We have a we have a submachine gun. That's a good start. We need some uh, ammunition. But okay, and here's some ammunition. That'll just we'll we'll be able to pick that up. And uh, we're doing pretty good now. I have not gathered any uh, building material. Now the reason you need building material is because um, you uh, have to build protection in case you're getting you know, shot at or bombarded or anything like that. So you need to do a little bit of that. And the reason we do it right now is we can also be looking for uh, any loot that we need. The loot includes things like uh, medical care, uh, bandages, uh, some of their, they, they offer you some uh, great uh, health drinks that get you uh, better in a hurry if you happen to get wounded. There's a lot of here, so let's go upstairs and look for that. And then in the meantime, as I say, uh, now we have a, a pistol. I think it's good to have a pistol. And uh, that's, I'm told, is one of the better weapons to have at close range. So we're pretty well weaponed up right now. We're pretty well uh, uh, um, ammunitioned up pretty well. So we're doing well there. And uh, look at this. This is the eye. That's the eye of the storm. We want to stay within that eye. Otherwise, the storm's going to get us, all right? 
And uh, let me let me just talk real briefly. Let me get back to where I was. L let me talk real briefly to uh, about Diamond Dallas Page. You know, I spoke to him uh, a while back, and I was so excited to talk to him, and it was so much fun. And uh, I mean, he's wrestled big names. You know, Hulk Hogan, the whole bit. It, it, it's just uh, it's crazy. And but he has quite a story to tell. So listen. Five. My career didn't take off till I was forty which was in 1996. 1997 and 98, I was on top of the world, headlining one pay-per-view after another. I just signed a multi-million dollar three-year deal. Then I blew my back out. Yeah, for an athlete, nothing is worse than something like that. It, it just so, and it basically ended his career, but we'll find out a little bit more about what he did to, uh, you know, resurrect himself, which is something that we all have to do in a way, right? Okay, uh, before I leave this area, I just want to see what's in this box here. Nothing. Oh, no, I've got a little bit of building material. Let's, oh, more ammo, more ammo. We need the ammo. We definitely need the ammo. Okay, I have a survivor medal. That means that, we, as I told you earlier, we start off with 100 players, and uh, so there are right now just 50 left, so I've, I've gotten that far, which is a good thing. Now, I think we can get out of it. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, man, that's a tactical shotgun. Uh, let's go ahead and pick it up while we're at it. Eye of the Storm is shrinking. Okay, I told you about that a little bit earlier. The Eye of the Storm is shrinking. Uh, as we get out of this house, let's, uh, let's jump back to Dallas and see. Uh, wait a minute, what's over here? Uh, we have more ammo. And then here we have a pump shot. I don't know about that. I don't think we need the the pump shotgun. I really don't. Let's get outside here. Okay, now, I told you about the storm, the eye of the storm shrinking, all right? That's what we're looking at right here. That is the uh, eye, right? We are inside the eye right now. We are in good shape. But once we get outside that eye, we have to be cautious. Now, you see the storm? You see those huge storm clouds up there? That's the thing that we have to be cognizant of. And um, now, once again, now you see that little circle on the upper right-hand corner? That gives me another view as to where I am in, in relation to the storm. And uh, Dallas, uh, you know, like I say, he was deep into his wrestling career, and then uh, the worst happened. Dennis Rodman. Yeah. I mean, we're on the world stage, and now they're telling me it's over. The guy who wouldn't be caught dead doing yoga at that point would try anything. You know, back in the day, we didn't think yoga in the same breath, you know, as these strong men, uh, you know, these, these really muscle men. Uh, we didn't think about them doing yoga, but that's what he has done. He's done it for people who really never thought of themselves as a yoga student. And I think that's what's so great about a guy like him. He can make something sound and appeal to us when maybe we didn't really think of it. And that's what he's done. And uh, while I'm talking about Dallas, let me get back here. All right, we're still okay with the eye of the storm, right? Let me double check. Okay, we're still in the eye of the storm. You know what? The, as I had said earlier, I feel safer in these uh, more rural areas. Okay, more, uh, more ammo. Uh, this is a burst. I think a burst assault rifle might be good to have. Now, I think I'm getting kind of full of, uh, of weapons here, and I think I've got enough. And uh, now, right now, I've just got to work my way up to uh, staying in the eye of the storm. And I, the other thing I need to make sure of is to uh, make sure that I'm staying in the eye, because if not, uh, it's too late. It's history for me. All right, here we go, moving along. And, uh, you know, Dallas learned, actually, the benefits of yoga when he was recuperating from his uh, bad back, from his blown out back. He, uh, he says that he went to, uh, you know, physical therapists. Oh, hey, now these are always good. These, these, uh, uh, these boxes have lots of good stuff. So all we have to do is search what's in there, all right? And uh, let me give you a, a crash pad. I think that's good. Hey, folks, look at I haven't been. I, let me uh, tell you real, real briefly. I'm going to grab that uh, ammo, uh, and that's going to go in there. What is this? That's an assault rifle. I, I think I need that, so I'm going to go ahead and collect that. 
uh, you know, I got into gaming here probably three years ago in kind of an unlikely way. I was uh, I was using one of those stationary bikes and they had a game that I could play while I was riding. Man, the time went by so fast I got hooked on it. And then about a year ago, uh, my grandkids, oh hey, what's this, another pistol. I already have a pistol, right? Uh, I'm going to get it anyway. I'm going to get it anyway. All right, all right. So let's get rolling, folks. Let's get rolling and let's make sure we stay uh, in the eye of the storm. What do we have here? XP. What is XP? Green XP. We're in good shape. We are in good shape. Add a new storm. You see, uh, this, okay, what happens in this game is the eye of the storm gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's why, okay, and we got another survival metal upgrade or upgraded. So in other words, what happened was I told you there are 100 people that started this game, and now it's dwindled down to uh, just 24. I'm one of the 24, but we're still a long, we have a long way to go before uh, we can feel safe. And uh, let me double check as to where we are. Oh, look at You see now the eye of the storm has shrunk, right? It's shrunk. And uh, we, need to, uh, we need to get back in before it's too late. Okay, well, let's get uh, moving. Um, you know what? Uh, I've got some. I've got some territory to cover. So while we're doing that, uh, let's uh, let's hear a little bit more about him, and then how he got started. How he got started, and how he learned to wrestle, and make a living at doing what he loved. Let's take a listen. He didn't. They, they didn't show you how to. If you couldn't get in that position, how do you get in that position? So I, I had to figure out the modifications. Now I'm still doing rehab. Now I've rehabbed both shoulder surgeries, both knee surgeries. So I know quite a bit about that. So one night about three weeks into this, I start to mix the rehabilitation techniques with the yoga position. Anyway, he's really busy in the yoga world and uh, he uh, is a, a real proponent of yoga for everybody and like I say, he does it on videos. You can get his uh, interview. We did a, you know, a much longer interview. This is just a taste of it. We did a much longer interview and you can get that over at bloomerboomer.com. In the meanwhile, in the meantime, let us uh, see how we're doing here. Okay, you see the eye, you see the storm, you see all that thunder and lightning up there. All right, that's what we're up against at the moment. That is what we are up against at the moment. So uh, we have to get we have to get across this water here. Uh oh, I hear gunfire. Do you guys hear gunfire? I hear gunfire. Uh, um, I'm going to get across this river. And uh oh, uh oh, okay, the storm of the eye is shrinking in one minute. It's going to shrink. One minute and 53 seconds. It is going to shrink again, and now we have gunfire so to deal with. So uh, I'm gonna, going to uh, get, to, uh, let's see, I'll, uh, what am I going to, hey, yeah, I think this is what, this is going to call for, oh, uh, this is going to call for some fairly heavy artillery right now. I hear I heard gunfire. Look at we've got the storm going on there, um, and we have to, and we're not heading the right way to stay in the eye of the storm. I don't know if we're going to get over that wall. We can try uh, if I can jump really high. I made it. <laughs> oh, and uh, let's continue on our way as we work our way up, 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 up. And to, uh oh, do you hear that? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, do you hear that? What do we have in here? Uh oh, uh oh, let me get, uh oh, okay, let me uh, get, uh, let me get, uh, oh man, I have so much weaponry here. Okay, let's get, uh, no, let's get this thing. Now let's get this, okay, let's get whatever is in there. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, we could just, okay, all it is is really, we, we uh, swap out the pistol, I think. That's all we're going to get out of this thing. But we get building materials. And, uh-oh, 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 what's going on? The crash pad back. Oh, we're full. We're full right now. So we can't get any more in our backpack. However, as you can see, you see? You see that's where the eye is and, this, and we're out of it. You see the storm is coming in. You see all that heat coming off the ba our back. Uh, we aren't in a good position. So I've got to make some tracks in a hurry. Hey, listen, um, if I don't make it through this, I just want to remind you that you can get more from, uh, you can get more and learn more about 
uh, Dallas page. You can learn more about bloomerboomer.com. And uh, you can also go to YouTube and get a lot more at uh, Bloomer Boomer on, on YouTube. All right, and let's see what we can do if we're going to make it out of the storm. You see that heat coming off my back right now? That is what I'm worried about. That is what I'm worried about. And we need to, uh, you know, I've done really well, I think, overall. I've done pretty well. I've knocked out, what, two opponents? And I could thank maybe Dallas for that. Oh, whoa! Oh, you know what happens when you feel too good about yourself? Sometimes it'll nail you right then and there. All right, that's been a lot of fun, folks. Uh, listen, catch us next time. Like us on Facebook. We, and also, you're invited to play with us on Facebook. You can be a part of the audience or you can participate. Until next time, Marmalade.